So I'm with Sky and Love, and you guys are gonna listen to the Quran today. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited <laughs> because you guys are such kind, open people, and I think it's gonna affect you in a in a good way. I think you're gonna like it. Hey. <laughs> Ramadan begins in Gaza with famine spreading and the death toll nearing 45,000. I'm raising funds for orphans, children with amputated limbs, children that are starving, to supply water, food, medical supplies, just basic necessities for our brothers and sisters in Gaza. The fundraiser is Zakat eligible and every donation, no matter how small or how big, will be greatly appreciated. I partner with HCI Canada, which are a Muslim charity, and I chose to partner with them because they're endorsed by some of the biggest activists for Palestine like Sean King and Mu'taz Azaza and I've actually worked with them a couple of times before and I continue to work with them as my favourite charity because they're very transparent in their work, they keep me up to date with videos and pictures and I completely trust these people with all my heart. They are one of the leading charities on the ground in Gaza so please if you have the means to donate the link is in the description of this video, in the comments of this video, don't miss out on this chance to get good deeds onto the video. Okay, so Sky. Yes. <laughs> so tell me, how did it make you feel? Um, it made me feel good. Okay. When, what I felt, he was really feeling um, deep inside mm -hmm. and he was full of acceptance mm -hmm. and kind and love. That's how I felt. He was just that. And so I found that this is actually how you feel actually when you are really following that. Mm -hmm. 
especially acceptance, what most people don't don't think or don't know, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt energetically, because I'm also an energy healer, mm -hmm. I felt he was totally in himself, with love, with just that vibration. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also felt there were a few words that gave me goosebumps. Okay. Um, I don't know what it was, but there was something that made me really go goosebump everywhere. And I, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so, and then also I resonated, with, even though I don't understand Arabic, <laughs> but there were things where I was like, mm-hmm, <laughs> like inside. I was like, I can't, I can't speak Arabic. But I felt like whatever it, it was, I agree, you know, kind of, yeah. that's kind of what, what I felt. Should we start for your Arabic? Uh, okay. <laughs> let's do this. Go on, let, let's, let's show the audience your Arabic. Let's go for it. Okay. Uh, Yala Habibi. <laughs> Shukran Habibi. Uh, inshallah. Oh, wow. Yeah, inshallah. Well. Yeah. Oh, my God. You, you really, the Dubai really did it to you, didn't it? It did, yeah. Okay. okay, so tell me about how you felt listening to that then. Um, it felt inspiring. Um, take it from me, I'm not Muslim, but mm -hmm. I'm one of those people that believe that the world, you know, needs to be a better place where we all get to communicate. So it kind of like took me to another world, if that makes sense. I felt relaxed, like, you know, those sort of like soothing sound where you're like, okay, this is the day. And then it just made me start thinking about life and then how uh, the world or how we were living in this world of ours mm -hmm. before COVID. And I feel like with COVID, it just kind of like brought everybody together. It's like, it doesn't matter where you are, black, white, blue, green, whatever the case might be, Muslim, Christian, we're all one and that is inevitable. So I feel like COVID kind of like opened our eyes, you know, out there. Everyone is like, okay, you know what? If this can happen to the world at large, yeah. then no one is safe. We just need to believe in what we believe in mm -hmm. and, you know, sort of like not impose our belief on the next person. Mm -hmm. But I believe at the end of the day, we're all one yeah so you felt like it was inspirational yeah do you feel like there was anything special about it um yeah you know the thing about it is i feel like music heals the soul especially because i didn't understand what they were saying yeah. but because it was like because now take it from me i sleep with music every night okay yeah like the soothing music so it gave me that whole okay if i wanted to like sleep now mm -hmm. this would take me to bed thinking about my life, thinking about the beautiful memories, mm. thinking about like seeing myself somewhere in Dubai at the desert. It's just, it's just like, but I definitely saw myself at the Maldives. Okay. <laughs> it just took me like, you know, that kind of like nature feel where you're just like yeah. relaxed, you know, like sitting at the sand, you know, mm. kind of feeling. So yeah. I feel like it's kind of transcendent. It is actually, it is. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to music, um, it just sort of like speaks to people in different ways but for me it just it just gave me that soothing vibes like you know mm. relax um you know go to take care of everything just don't worry so much that sort of thing so just yeah it was <laughs> definitely made me feel yeah that's interesting you say that because i think that's the way i felt in turkey when i heard the quran for the first time i think mm. i think that's because at the time i had like a lot of um anxiety in my heart yeah. and i think it did give me that kind of peace transcendent mm -hmm. feeling of you know what yeah. i'm just a tiny piece in this big picture you know i'm, I'm not that important uh, <laughs> <I like> that. <laughs> the whole world is not about I me know. yeah um, true. which can be easy to get wrapped up in and when, yeah. when the whole world's about you every little problem becomes a big problem i know 